Hi, this is Kong again. Uh, this time, I would like to uh, uh, demonstrate uh, how to uh, program the Calcane uh, computer. Uh, when it comes uh, from factory, the Calcane computer uh, can already uh, be used uh, by uh, most uh, users uh, because its default setting uh, would stir uh, the uh, Calcoser uh, 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 once every uh, eight seconds, uh, with a duration upon uh, eight seconds, and you can see uh, the effect uh, uh, over here, uh, so that you can see, you know, with the default setting, the stir is already uh, doing pretty well, and also every twenty seconds, uh, it will also uh, deliver uh, about uh, five uh, mil uh, milli uh, liter of uh, uh, calcosa solution. Uh, into your tank, uh, based upon, of course, uh, the uh, the flow switch status. If the flow switch says, okay, uh, the tank is water, so it will uh, deliver that uh, uh, every uh, 20 seconds. Uh, but if you really want uh, to change the uh, default setting, uh, it's very uh, easy to do so too. I'm going to demonstrate a, f a few co uh, basic commands and if you really want to uh, uh, master the programming, you have to uh, uh, go through the, the menu. Uh, the first command is uh, pretty uh, straightforward, is uh, to reset uh, the calcane uh, back to the factory settings. So uh, the first thing you want to make sure is that the two dials is not at zero position. So making it in the, in the middle uh, range is good. And then you just turn off the power and when it's being turned on within the third, third, uh, first three seconds, you just press it, hold it, and then it blinks two times. You release it, and the quick thing, yes, you already have done uh, the first command of resetting it back to factory setting. Uh, the second most common thing you would like to do is to adjust uh, the stirring uh, vigorous. Uh, uh, the, this dial, which has a, a stir seconds uh, label, is controlling the stir, how many seconds you want this to stir, uh, up to uh, four seconds uh, maximum per eight seconds. And this this allows you to control how much uh, uh, our water you want to inject into uh, the chamber and then uh, to your tank every 20 seconds. Uh, as, uh, so to do that, you know, to change the dial, so now you know that is a uh, uh, for every eight seconds is stirring upon uh, five seconds, you wanted to change it to, for example, uh, one second. So all you have to do is you turn this all the way to zero, and the light will uh, be on, and then you just turn it off on to the one second marking, and and you can see uh, the vigorous uh, of the stirring will be uh, much much more right now, right? So based upon uh, how much calcoser powder you have in there? You can adjust this. Of course, you can adjust up to uh, uh, four seconds. And the trick is, you have to go to zero first before you can change it. So once you uh, make it to one seconds, you're happy with the setting. You just press this one time, and then it will bring four times uh, to tell you that okay, I've already uh, uh, saved it. So now. Uh, since it's blinking four times, it's uh, basically uh, this light telling you uh, how much uh, calcoser, uh, uh, how much our water is being put into the calcoser chamber. Again, the same thing is you make it to zero first, and then you turn it to the mill. You know, so it's, this is thing pretty sensitive. So you really need to uh, uh, do so, uh, watch out how much uh, water coming out uh, to adjust it. But of course, uh, even though uh, you set it to a, a lot of water coming out, yet the flow switch is the master. So the flow switch says, okay, I have enough water in the sum. Then it won't output it until uh, this, uh, the flow switch is uh, triggered again. Okay. So again, when you are satisfied with the setting, all you have to do is just to press this, and it blinks two times saying that, you know, I've saved. Once saved, even though you turn off the power, turn on again, you know it will remember uh, the settings until uh, you change it to zero again, and then you modify again, and then you save again. So this is very, very simple, and, and the uh, 
99% uh, of you uh, will be satisfied just with this uh, function alone okay so right now you can see the uh, live pH uh, is about 8.3 uh, 8.6 uh, 8.36 and uh, the uh, uh, the user set limit is 8.53 okay so if if you say okay I really want to lower it this uh, limit and if you are if, 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 if this limit is lower lower than the actual case you know the actual light probe is at 8.36 and then you said, okay, I only want my limit 8.3. Then you can see the light continuous blinking, telling you that, hey, this is uh, an over pH uh, limit uh, condition. So at this point, if your flow switch says we need water, you know, only bypass, uh, the bypass pump will be on and deliver uh, the water directly into the tank. Uh, so the calcosser will not be delivered uh, during this period. So with this setting, on a pH setting, you pretty much can control uh, the amount of uh, alkalinity, calcium, uh, and pH uh, in, your, in your tank uh, based upon uh, uh, your uh, requirement. Uh, nevertheless, the salinity uh, of your tank is always maintained uh, because of the smart uh, ATO uh, unit that it uh, contains uh, in the... Uh, uh, Calking uh, 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 computer uh, unit. Okay. Okay. One last uh, common uh, programming that you might want to do is, uh, let's say uh, you have a some less uh, 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 situation or some less configuration where you want to uh, install uh, your flow switch in the upside down orientation. So in order uh, for the uh, computer to know that this is the configuration so basically you have to program it again you turn up the power uh, you turn it on within the three seconds you know while you hear the beat sound you press five times one two three four five and then it will respond with five you said one two I want it to upside down configuration one two you say and then it save it and then okay once once it's that once that is saved then the future uh, uh, computer uh, operation will remember that you are using uh, upside down a uh, flow switch. Okay, so you can see it's very easy to program uh, your calcing. You know, just a matter of pressing a few uh, buttons, and uh, it is true for all the programs uh, involved. So you can take a look at the user manual uh, then you will know that you know a calcing uh, allows you to do a lot of uh, different uh, uh, configurations very powerful yet very easy to program okay